Hello everybody, welcome to lecture 3 of our course Computing Ethics and Society. In this lecture we're gonna start chapter 2 that talks about privacy. In this lecture we're gonna cover privacy risks and principles. Key aspects of privacy include three things or three main things. First, freedom from intrusion control of information about oneself and freedom from surveillance. Privacy threats come in several categories such as institutional uses of personal information, unauthorized use, theft of information, leakage of information and some our own actions. For example, uh, we may uh, give up some privacy in order to get some benefits. Actually, the new technology could affect the privacy and cause new risks about uh, privacy. Uh, examples of these new technologies like the use of the government databases or the sophisticated tools for surveillance and data analysis such as uh, the cell phones camera uh, vulnerability of data here we're gonna see some examples of uh, new technologies that cause risks on privacy the first one is the search query data like the search engines in search engines many data or a lot of data uh, can be collected and analyzed uh, this data could be used in uh, data mining processes or in machine learning processes to get a hidden pattern of data or hidden knowledge of uh, behind data another example is about smartphones in smart smartphones there are a lot of uh, mobile application that require some uh, personal information like location um, some uh, application like mobile banking ask for some private uh, information about the customers and the data sometimes stored and sent without users knowledge in this slide and the coming two slides we gonna see the summary of the privacy risks first anything we do in cyberspace or in internet is recorded huge amount of data are stored people are not aware of collection of data software is complex and information leakage is happened also collection of uh, small items can provide detailed picture re-identification has become much easier due to the quantity of information and uh, power of data search and analysis tool if information is on a public website it is available to everyone information on the internet seems to last forever data collected from one purpose will find other uses government can request sensitive personal data held by business or organizations we cannot directly protect information about ourselves we depends upon businesses and organizations to protect it so these are the the, the main points of the privacy risk here are some privacy terminology uh, the first terminology we may see the like the personal information 
what do we mean by personal information is any information relating to an individual person informed consent are the user being aware of what information is collected and how it is used invisible information gathering is the collection of personal information about a user without the user's knowledge here's some terminologies another terminologies cookies that are files a website stores on a visitor's computers secondary use is the use of personal information for a purpose other than the purpose for which it was provided data mining which means discovering the hidden pattern or the previously unknown knowledge behind data computer matching means combining and comparing information from different databases to match records computer profiling means analyzing data to determine characteristics of people most likely to engage in a certain behavior here are two main terminologies here are the two common forms of providing informed cost these forms are opt out and opt in opt out means person must request that an organization not use information where opt-in means that the collector of the information may use information only if person explicitly permits use. These two uh, forms are usually appear in the uh, privacy policies. Try to answer these questions. Have you seen opt-in? and opt out choices if yes where and how were uh, they worded were any of them deceptive what are some common elements of privacy policies you have read try to answer these questions about opt in and opt out finally here's the some principles uh, about informations or privacy of information first inf uh, try to inform people when you collect information collect only the data needed don't collect data you do not need offer a way for people to opt out keep data only as long as needed don't keep data forever maintain accuracy of data protect security of data and finally and develop policies for responding to law enforcement requests for data this is the uh, lecture 3 in general so uh, we will continue talking about privacy in the next uh, lectures. Thank you for listening.